My name's Danny Rogers, I'm from AVI SPL. I'm the Vice President of Global Channels and Unified Communication Partnerships. Are there many common challenges that systems integrators face across the industry? I think they've become more complex than ever, to be honest, Clive. I think the, the fact that the AV projects are now migrating up to the IT space, understanding they've got to sit on a network, um, means that we have to deploy new skill sets, we have to work in a different way, and we have to work with different people in the organisations. No longer do you just purely work with the AV manager, you clearly have to work across borders within organisations and you have to work into the IT department as well. That's where the complexity is coming, that's where the challenges are coming and for us really the investment in training, education and making sure we're doing more deployments of that nature and it also means that uh, we have to skill up across those borders and those technologies. What sort of skills are we looking for? Uh are they traditional or are we looking for new types of skills? They're very much cross AV and, and VC skills and, and IT skills. So no longer can you just be a specialist in one. You have to have the vocabulary and be able to talk across all those technologies and be able to deliver on all those technologies as well. The cost of accreditation now is quite severe, isn't it? Are they, is it rocketing out of the control? The costs continue to increase. I think a lot of people forget to be accredited across all manufacturers not only takes significant dollars in terms of training, training investment, but also the time of your uh, technical people and your sales folks to be out of the business while they do those accreditations. And it's not a one-time uh, effort. It's a continuing process that you continue to need to educate your people, train your people to make sure they can articulate and present uh, all those skill sets. When you're accredited, do you have to do it globally or are there requirements nationally? There are very few that are global. Uh, the rest tend to be in-country, in-theatre, where you have to be able to deliver those accreditations locally. So the investment is not just a one-time global here. Is accreditation a necessary cost? I think it can be curbed. I think we could see more globalised costs and uh, economies of scale. Whether the manufacturers come to that point uh, is yet to be seen. But I certainly think that um, the demands and the costs are extortionate.